Welcome to the October 2020 Sound Summit. I'm Elizabeth from Sound Devices, and today I'll be taking you through the Mix Pre 2 series, starting with a general overview for those who aren't as familiar with Sound Devices, discussing our recent firmware updates and plugins, and finishing by touching on remote control via our Wingman companion app. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so let's jump right in. The Mix Pre 2 series consists of three models the Mix Pre 3 2, the Mix Pre 6 2, and the Mix Pre 10 2. These audio recorders and USB interfaces have an incredibly small footprint and are also very lightweight, so they're easy to bring wherever your work might take you. All Mix Pre models feature our custom made ultra low noise cashmere microphone preamps. Perhaps the best known feature of the Mix Pre 2 series is the ability to record up to a 32 bit float bit depth for an astounding 142 decibels of dynamic range. The combination of the clean cashmere preamps and the extra headroom from the 32-bit float files means that your audio quality is limited only by the capabilities of your microphone, not your recorder. A 32-bit float bit depth is a useful option in any situation with extreme dynamic range, such as loud explosions, gunshots, occasional whispers, or quiet environmental noise. It also protects you during set and forget situations, such as a bag drop, or when you need to control your mix pre remotely. Even if you set your gain levels too low or too high, you can readjust levels in post production with no loss in audio quality. Each mix pre 2 is an incredibly versatile device. It can be used as a portable recorder by recording to an SD card, and as a USB interface by streaming to a computer over USB C. There are a plethora of powering options, from USB power to DC power to AA batteries and L mount batteries. Mix Pre 2s can both send and receive LTC timecode and receive timecode from DSLRs over HDMI. Sound professionals from all specialties field audio, sound effects, audio for film, voiceovers, podcasts, and music capture audio on their Mix Pre 2. There are so many other features I don't have time to mention today, so if you'd like to learn more, head over to sounddevices.com slash mixpre. Some folks who are more familiar with sound devices may remember our award-winning first generation of mixpre series recorders. The first and second generation share the same clean cashmere preamps, small footprint, and versatile options for powering and recording. The mixpre 2 series adds to the solid foundation with numerous hardware upgrades. Some features unique to the Mix Pre 2 series are 32-bit float bit depth, sampling rates up to 192 kHz, internal LTC timecode generation and output, adjustable limiters, and more, depending on your model. One of the great things about the Mix Pre 2 series is that you can customize and expand your Mix Pre with plugins. Since the April Sound Summit, we released our newest plugin for the Mix Pre 2, Noise Assist. Noise Assist is an advanced signal processing algorithm that reduces background noises such as traffic, generators, HVAC noise, and more. Using Noise Assist is easy and fast. Simply choose the amount of background noise to suppress and Noise Assist will do the rest. Suppression happens in real time with just one millisecond of latency. You can run one instance of Noise Assist on any channel, bus L or bus R. Cleaning up your audio with Noise Assist can be useful in many applications. For example, live broadcast and streaming, previews on set, feeds to video village, IFB feeds, rough guide mixes, and fast turnaround productions where you don't need to deliver unprocessed audio to post. Let's listen to a few quick examples. This is a Noise Assist example using an SM7B. This is a Noise Assist example using an SM7B. You can find more information on Noise Assist and a full video on using and installing Noise Assist by visiting our plugin store. Noise Assist is available only for the Mix Pre 2 series, so if you're a first generation owner and are thinking of upgrading, there's another reason for you. Another popular plugin for the Mix Pre 2 series is Mix Assist, an advanced auto mixer that reduces ambient noise and reverberation when mixing and recording with multiple microphones. Previously available only on the 6 series, 7 series, and 8 series mixer recorders, Mix Assist is compatible with both the first generation Mix Pre series and the Mix Pre 2 series. Mix Assist comes in handy in multi microphone applications such as conferences, panels, or any instance where multiple microphones are open at the same time. Let's check out Mix Assist in action. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of your engineering career. <laughs> Are you going to man high school yeah. electronics? This is good stuff. This, stuff. this is good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that was the end of your engineering career. <laughs> Are you going to man high school yeah. electronics? This is good stuff. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Yeah. The Ambisonics plugin introduces ambisonic and binaural recording, playback, and monitoring to the MixPre 6, MixPre 62, MixPre 10T, and MixPre 102. To use the Ambisonics plugin, you will need any first order Ambisonics microphone, such as the Sennheiser Ambio. An ambisonic recording uses a multi-capsule microphone to capture a spherical representation of sound. With the Ambisonics plugin, you can record, playback, and monitor in both Ambisonics A format and B format. Select different mic orientations, monitor in both binaural and stereo, and record up to a 192 kHz sample rate. And last but not least, the Musician plugin brings the essence of computer-based music production software to the first-generation MixPre series and the MixPre 2 series. Musicians and songwriters can use their MixPre as a portable DAW to create high-quality, multi-layered songs anywhere and anytime the inspiration grabs them. This plugin introduces onboard features like overdub, bounce, punch in and out, reverb, and tracking to a metronome. We love this video by Ollie Loops, which shows how to create a beat using the MixPre 62 and the Musician plugin. You can check it out and learn more about the Musician plugin by visiting our plugin store. Since the April Sound Summit, we've released new firmware for the MixPre, version 7.0 and 7.10. If you're a MixPre owner and haven't upgraded yet, we highly recommend taking advantage of the new features available. As always, you can see a full list of changes with each firmware release on our website. I've already mentioned Noise Assist, which became supported in firmware 7.0. We also added more USB keyboard shortcuts in this release. A full list of USB keyboard shortcuts is available in your user guide. You can use a regular USB keyboard for shortcuts or a specialized keyboard such as PI Engineering's X keys for instant control of your mix brie. We all know that this is a very unusual time for the world and for our industry. We've all had to find new ways of working both effectively and safely. And because we need to maintain a safe distance on set, remote control is more important than ever before. Our companion app, Wingman, which is available for free from the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store, makes remote control of the MixPre possible. I'm going to be showing you Wingman on a phone because many of us will have an Apple or Android phone that is compatible with Wingman. See the MixPre 2 user guide for instructions on connecting your MixPre and the Wingman app. On the app, I can see time code, my audio levels, and start and stop recording. Now I'll swipe to display track view. Here I can arm and rename my tracks. You will need to gain stage on your MixPre. Here the MixPre 2's 32-bit flow is an advantage. If you need to remotely control your mix pre 2 and your gain is set too low or too high, you can readjust those levels in post with no loss in audio quality. On the file list tab, I can edit metadata for my tracks. Then I can export as a CSV and transfer it as I wish using an app like Google Drive or my email. No matter the precautions we need to take at work, the mix pre 2 series will help you capture audio for any application. If you'd like to learn more about the MixPre 2 series, we welcome you to visit us at sounddevices.com slash MixPre. Thank you for joining me during this overview and enjoy the rest of the October 2020 Sound Summit.